Hi guys, today um, in this video I'll be showing you um, um, how to really connect um, one of these cables um, to the back of your stereo. So AUX to RCA, um, I've got a special type of cable, it was mainly used for video purposes only, not really audio, or maybe audio and video, but um, this was uh, used um, yeah, for TV and stuff, but, um, I've used it for my stereo, but, um, there's a bit of a problem with it, and I'm just going to disconnect this, and I want to show you what I had. One second. As you can hear, there's, uh, quite a bit of hum coming from the speakers. So, that hum is when you don't have a ground connected. So, and I'll play you a video. As you heard there, the video was um, uh, inter not really interrupted, but it was um, it wasn't projecting clearly. Uh, you couldn't you could hear the video, but it wasn't it was uh, it was um, being um, what's the interfer interfered. There was a lot of interference through that video, and that's because when you have this type of cable with three RCAs. Um, for, to get the best um, type of audio signal and for the audio signal to actually properly work, uh, you need a ground connection. So when you buy these types of cables from the store with only two of these connected, usually you have a ground connected here and here on the shield connections of the RCA cables. And this is your left and right up here. Left and right. So it's connected all up there, left. I've, I've actually marked these with the pen. Um, but yes, that's what's happening. So yes, as I, mm, as I said before, um, this cable doesn't have a ground connection on the shield parts. Uh, so uh, the only ground connection is this wire right here. So when I connect this wire... This is connected to the chassis of the stereo, right here, it's all connected. I'm going to play the, turn the stereo on, absolutely no interference ever. You can even hear that. And I'll play you this, uh, inrush current of motor. Much clearer now, no interference. Much clearer quality. Quality's a lot better. No humming sound. So, yes. And I'll demonstrate it to you again. Disconnection of the ground. Ground connected. There we go. So that's what you need to do. Um... When you have one of those cables and you have that type of humming sound, but um, as I said, when you get these from your local shop or electronic store, the ground should already be connected with the shield, so you wouldn't have to do that. But if it's not and you have this cable here, you have three, um, just connect it to the chassis of the stereo, because the chassis of the stereo, all on my one, probably not the newer stereos, are actually connected into the... Um, uh, earth of the electrical network so the ground for you americans uh so the ground of the electrical network so yes uh where is my stereo there we go the stereo power point 
So here I've got three cores, one, two, and three connected to the earth, so no humming whatsoever. It's all shielded. So yes, if you're having the, oh, those sound problems, um, just connect that ground up like I did anyway. But this is a bit of a uh, rigged... Uh, rigged set up here anyway but it works just for now i'm gonna actually do it properly some other time but anyway that's about it for this video um so yes until next time thanks for watching